hope today, Mom. The first thing I'd say is I'm amazed at how intelligent these guys are. And it's nice to see that. And the other thing is the guys that don't have the experience in crossword puzzles, they're being brought along by the guys that do. And, um, you know, they form little groups and work on it together. It's good to see that problem solving. We're not doing so hot. Slowly but surely. But we're working well together. That's all that matters, right? I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I'm ready. I'm ready to present it to you. 43 across. Showing no fear, I think it's gutsy. Gutsy? I like gutsy. Gutsy. <laughs> That's with everything we've got so far. It doesn't mean I can do a crossword, but I can twirl my pen. Crosswords, you know, those have been a, a hit amongst the group. Um, forces everybody to kind of, okay, yo, what did you get for you know, 20 down? What did you get for 33 across? So stuff like that. Little things that kind of all build up and, and eventually pile out onto the field, so I think that's a, a big credit to Greg and, and what he's tried to implement here amongst the group. I think off the field, um, guys have gotten to know each other more, the staff has gotten integrated with the players and, and really had some good moments. From a training standpoint, the guys have been extremely focused, and on the field we've seen progress every single day with, with the quality and, and the execution, and overall really positive week and a half. On the field it feels like you know, of course, the first couple of days, everybody's getting used to each other, but that third or fourth day, it was like we were moving fluid. Everybody was getting back to their sharpness and playing that fluid football that I, you know, I enjoy playing. So a big component to this camp is team building and team cohesion, and every moment that we can, we want to foster those relationships. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of dialogue at the meals as well, which I think has been very healthy for this group. Even more so, some of the team event type of types of things we've had. We've had a barbecue already. These are just little building blocks for us to kind of not only understand what the coaching staff wants to build, but also knowing and getting to, to understand what your teammates are about. This rival is FC Dallas barbecue. That's that's saying a lot because FC Dallas's barbecues are top tier. This one, this one was nice. We got a lot of good stuff. We got uh, some pork season ribs, some uh, steak, some chicken. Yeah, I'll give you a tour. So we got some uh, steak, mashed potatoes, some corn. Hidden underneath, we got some bean and cactus, something. Chicken, chipotle ranch here. Barbecue ribs. And a little veggie shish kebab. Pretty solid. The ribs. <laughs> the ribs were unbelievable. They were unbelievable, let me tell you. <laughs> Prime, just the chipotle ranch. Come check this out. Look, come look at this. This stuff is a mindful of gold right here. It is so good. Ask everyone, dude. They were they were loving it, dude. This this barbecue was on point. It was amazing. It starts with the dormitories. I mean, you're in now a very close knit environment with other guys. Common rooms, tutor room. It, it is certainly something that brings the group closer together. You're talking about training, you're talking about other things, Fortnite, all these sorts of things are happening together. Uh, and, and that just builds a little bit of chemistry and camaraderie in the group. You know, you're in close quarters with the guys, so you're forced to mingle and interact with each other, you get to know your roommates, down to playing cars and, and just little games like that. I think that's a big portion of why we've clicked so fast. This guy's gonna do his magic trick for the camera, bro. So we gotta do your thing. Mm, I decided against doing the magic trick for the camera. Mm -hmm. It's a little too much pressure. I know they call me David Blaine in certain circles, but here I'm just Jeremy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Oh no. <laughs> no. No. Baby, two, two. I've seen a hunger from the group, a hunger to learn, a hunger to understand 
what concepts are being thrown at us. A, a level of implementation of intelligence that I think is very, very encouraging. Because it's not easy to do what, what the coaches have, have kind of spelled out for us. And that's been incredible to see. Our body is positioned that they can't pass the ball in the middle. You know, Jeremy, you, you've been a good one to watch because at Portland, you've been told to show the guy one way. So this, Austin will have the ball and you're literally run around him to keep him going one direction opening up the middle, right? So for us, that, that's perfectly fine. That's what you've been learning. For us, we're gonna say, okay, Austin has the ball, we're central on Austin. You're creating a shadow behind you that he can't pass the ball. Now your teammates know that, they can fill in space behind you. One thing I know is that when the game gets hectic and the odds are against you, the one thing you can rely on is the teammate next to you. And that's why the stronger the bond between the teammates, the more successful they can be on the field.